In order to analyze multiple plates of gene expression data in Data Assist, we generally want to combine that data into one big file called a study prior to exporting. Data Assist only utilizes CT values, meaning that assay-specific thresholds must be consistent across all plates in order for sample-to-sample -sample comparisons to be valid. Study files ensure that thresholds are equivalent for each assay across every plate in your larger experiment. In this video, we'll see how to create a multi-plate study on the VS7, Step 1 and 7500 instruments, and on the 7900 HT. Note that the Biotrope Open Array instrument does not require us to take this additional step. We will see toward the end of the video how to export final data out of the Open Array for use in Data Assist. Let's begin with the VS7. To start a new study, from the home screen, click New Gene Expression Study. Give this study a unique name. Click Add Experiments. Browse to your run files, all of which will have the extension .eds. Open them either as a group or one by one. And note that there's no absolute limit to how many files can be combined. Now, if we were using the study itself to perform the final analysis on the data, as in this example study from the VS7, we'd want to go under the study menu define replicates, and create biological groupings of samples, which we could then assign to specific wells of the plate map. We would then go to results, where we'd find that the study had calculated full change data for us. In fact, it's performed calculations on both the technical replicates and biological replicates. And it's provided us with a graph of the up and down regulation of each gene in every sample. The VS7 even has some fairly advanced features, such as a tool for identifying the most stable normalizer gene among a group of candidates, a box plot for showing the distribution of CTs, as well as technical replicate and biological group scatter plots. In other words, the study itself can serve as a really nice endpoint of data analysis. So why would anyone use Data Assist? Two reasons, really. First, as we'll see in video 4, Data Assist has a few additional analysis and quality control features. Second, because it works only with exported CT files and not the much larger real-time data collection files, it's really, really fast, even when analyzing dozens of plates at one time. Let's get back to our original study. Go to Analysis under the Study menu. Confirm that the thresholds are set correctly by using the target pull-down menu to toggle through each. Adjust any thresholds that you feel are set too low or too high by selecting that assay, unchecking the auto button, and moving the threshold with your mouse. Remember, any change you make to a threshold is applied to that assay across all plates in the study, exactly what we want. Be sure to hit the green Analysis button one last time before exporting. Also, you'll want to save the study before continuing in case you need to go back and make changes later on. From here, we can export our data by clicking the Export button in the top right of the window. We only need the results for importing into Data Assist, so uncheck Amplification Data and check the box next to Results. Give the file a unique name and choose a location. The Step 1 and 7500 line of instruments work the same. The only noteworthy difference is that from the home screen, you'll start by clicking on Create Study. Unlike VS7, the Step 1, and 7500 platforms, the 7900 HT software, version 2.3 and later, uses an intermediate program to create study files. It's called RQ Manager. Here's how it works. From the home screen, go to File, New Study, from SDS File. Choose the correct container type first. Give this study a unique name. Now, add plates. Navigate to the folder containing your .sds run file or files, select it, and add. Once you're done, and you can add a maximum of 10 Delta Delta CT plates to a single study with the 7900, click OK, 
and OK again. To analyze all the data in the study, click the green triple arrow. There's a lot of manipulation you can do within the RQ study file, such as adjusting thresholds or baselines to taste. But for now, we'll simply export the data for analysis in Data Assist. First though, let's save the study as a .sdm file by going to File, Save Study, choosing a location on the hard drive, giving it a name, and clicking Save. Next, and this is very important, go under the pull-down menu for Table Orientation and be sure Plate Centric is chosen. At this point, we can export. Do that by going to File, Export, Results Data. Navigate to the location where you want the file saved, and save. Finally, let's see how to export data from the Open Array Run. Just go to File, Export CSV. Now that we're ready to analyze our combined data, we'll need to import our exported file into Data Assist, enter some setup information, and adjust analysis parameters. And we'll do all that in the next video.